At 4.53 in the afternoon on the 12th of January 2010, Haiti was hit by one of the most disastrous earthquakes in history. More than 200,000 people lost their lives and 1.5 million were displaced. The capital suffered catastrophic damage, crippling government buildings and destroying millions of homes. There are a lot of houses that have been destroyed, there are a lot of houses that have been destroyed. The houses were broken, they were broken, they were broken. We were going to be refugees in a camp. I and my family, I spent more than 15 months. It wasn't too good, it wasn't a life. Three years later, Haitians are continuing to rebuild their lives. The residents of Mont-Hercule are recycling debris left from the earthquake to rehabilitate their neighborhood. Marie-Josette is a 35-year-old mother of two. She has recently been trained as a brickmaker and represents the women of her community at the local neighborhood council. I fait ça comme un regroupement juste pour identifier Juste pour, comme je veux dire, décerner les besoins prioritaires de la zone. Parce qu'après le séisme, on a pas mal de problèmes. Mais il y a des problèmes qui sont plus urgents que d'autres. On a réhabilité la route de Charles-Maïbéral, qu'on a été identifié comme l'un des besoins urgents. Il y a des lampadaires. Les jeunes femmes, les filles ont subi des actes de violence dans la zone. C'est comme un parlement. On a discuté, on a parlé et on arrive à un commun accord. With the help of the United Nations Development Program, UNDP, neighborhood councils like these empower residents to prioritize issues and get access to resources. People are the biggest wealth to rebuild their lives. They know what to do, they know what needs to be done, and they're the ones who can put the most energy in doing it. Since 2010, 1.2 million people have returned to their homes and 10 million cubic meters of rubble have been removed, enabling Haiti to transition from disaster to long-term development. You can see a lot of improvement. Not only has the debris been managed, rehabilitation of neighborhoods has started, and quite a bit of investments are now visible in those neighborhoods. In the neighborhood of Carrefour Feuille, high in the hills of Port-au-Prince, UNDP supported the project to reconstruct and improve roads, alleyways, drainage systems, public spaces, and build disaster-resistant homes using recycled material. Just the sheer location of the debris is a big challenge. Haiti, Port-au-Prince is built on many mountains where no heavy machinery can come. The combination of community planning, debris removal, demolition, recycling and bringing back those recycled products into the neighborhoods at this scale is unprecedented. The local economy has now started again. Jobs have been created in Port-au-Prince and outside. It demonstrates that when the international community and the government get together and provide the money and the investments are made, change is possible. There are the éclairage for the zone, the rehabilitation of the route Chalmay Beralt, a project d'eau. C'est-à-dire de mettre des kiosques d'eau pour les personnes les plus vulnérables de la zone. Bétonnage des, des sentiers, c'est-à-dire des rues qui ne, qui ne sont pas. Avant, je ne pensais pas vraiment avoir mon, mon écule parce que la route était en, en terre battue. Ça donne de la boue. Je pense que c'est un rêve. 